All right. I'm still on a kind of or a hundred percent the same stuff as all the other reactions. But as hard as I tried, I'm trying to have this one cross multiple levels of uh, story arcs. So for bus riders, lounge dwellers, friends of the channel, loved ones, siblings, fair weather fans, haters alike, club goers, lounge dwellers, you know, that whole, that whole group. Well, I've had a lack of communication with everyone almost two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it turns out going back to the night job, I started eating poorly, just had all kinds of, just have had all kinds of stuff. Who cares? It's all water under the bridge, I hope. I was thinking, as I'm giving a shout out to my brother on his birthday, Rat being one of the bands we've literally seen more than anything, I think. We've seen these guys a few times, that's for sure. Uh, I'm grateful that we don't have a lack of communication. And when the chips are down and it matters, we reach out. And I couldn't have been, I couldn't ask for more. So that part I'm pretty grateful for. And I hope that continues as long as we uh, draw breath. That being said, lack of communication. Ah, I was wearing myself some Creek Squad today because I got to be honest, I've been more, I was more impressed with something uh, Church put out today than I've been in a lot of stuff. And there's the thing. I think I've been fair. It's tinfoil hatty, but uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I made sure that there's a certain group island dwelling monsters or certain ideas that I just don't think are appropriate anymore for uh, public consumption or definitely don't have any place with anything we're doing here and uh, yeah and if you can find the right video I even figured out where my wish what I would do if my wishes could come true and it resonates so much with something that Upchurch was saying today. I just want to give a shout out in a place that he would never hear it, won't see it. But dude's, my, dude's inspirational. Both Ange and I totally agree. And here's why. And I hate to do this to you if you're here for just rat. I would just go forwards a bit until the song starts. We've got an artist on the channel and uh, <clears throat> tried to, uh, had some complications and someone wanted it gone. And uh, um, I did some research about the song and the artist and I, I went to this podcast and I found out that the artist can stay on the channel. Now, I'm sorry, this is cryptic and vague. <clears throat> But it's the podcast I want to talk about. The podcast ties to, to, to Creek Squad, to Upchurch, and some other stuff. So I got all this information about a rapper that's on the channel, and I don't have to drop him from the channel. But as I was listening to the podcast, I was like, well, I should probably, you know, maybe I would try this whole give a shout out to where I got the information from, put links in the description below. But then every other joke was vulgar in a way that I wouldn't want half of my subscribers or listening, uh, you know, bus riders to even stumble across it. And I don't think I'm a, right, I'm pretty abrasive. I'm like 80 grit, you know, sandpaper. Um, that being said, there's certain things I just think it doesn't always have to be crotch based. It doesn't always have to be stuff that should be private. Um, it's not as funny as it's just vulgar. And I think that's what, uh, uh, especially with, you never know who's watching. So in the end, I get all that. And uh, 
I just want to give a little shout out there to well, to the inspiration to realize that uh, no matter what we do, there are certain things that are unacceptable. And uh, certain positions that people are taking lately, it's rough. And I'm not going to uh, participate in some of the uh, extreme vulgarity and uh, acceptance of things right in uh, just, you know, certain activities shouldn't take place in the street no matter how much you both enjoy them. They're meant to be at home, alone. I don't know. It's just frustrating because, uh, uh, there, I hate to tie it together, but as much as I love the hairspray metal, uh, and grew up on it. My brother and I went to these shows. There was an exploitative side to the videos and other stuff. I mean, um, now, you know, I get it. Different times, different places. But I think it's fair to admit that you get to a certain point, and I've got to agree with what I saw. One of my inspirational, uh, you know, thought, uh, you know, I like up church. I like what he says. And uh, you know, at a certain point, I have to admit that we're here to provide, protect, and um, bark at anything they tell us to. And I'd do that for my honey in a minute. So I just, uh, I thought that was the coolest thing I heard today. And uh, damn straight. I, I, I totally thought that was like, yeah, I agree with that. Provide, protect, and bark at what my baby needs me to bark at. Yes. Oh, it does work. I don't, I can't remember the last time I heard this song. My brother and I ain't gone to a show, to, you know, 34. How the fuck? We were kids. I saw these shows when I was 17 and 18. Uh, by ninth, by, by 20, I was listening to Thrash, so I was done. There's like this three year period where we just went to all these shows. But, uh, I'm opening lyrics. That's exactly what I was saying or what I was hearing the whole. It's time to go. It's enough of a, it's enough is enough. Don't uh, disagree with you have being able to think that way. Of course you can. But maybe it's not every, every vulgar comment that comes into our head should be spilled out. And I'm a, a firm believer in spilling my inner thoughts. I am definitely making a distinction between uh, being a rambling idiot and being a basically inappropriate pervert. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, I guess I'm old enough that uh, it's all went a hair too far. And these opening lyrics, I, I, I read, there's a lack of talking about it, lack of standing up for it, but a whole lot of accepting it. And I'll, I'll put a link to Upchurch's video down here. It's the weirdest place to find a video, but you, why do you think for yourself? And I'll be fair, at the end of this, I'll, I will make one caveat, which breaks my heart, but, but we'll wait to the end for that. <laughs> Too 
many problems the world can't solve? Too many people who don't want to get involved? Lack of communication? Yeah. I mean, if that's not the song doubling down on the day, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure my brother knows who my brother who he is so i don't have to say. dude i didn't actually think this was as deep as it was i don't remember it having deep lyrical content at all i remember uh corsets high heels and big hair and uh just actually a much better song than i remembered lyrically it's very cool and uh for a tongue-in-cheek I was just giving a shout out to the shows and the activities that my brother and I engaged in. I didn't think I was going to fall ass backwards into a little uh, quantum entanglement, really. I mean, you know, I pre-planned the title to fit into our storyline, but I didn't remember the lyrical content being so strong. It's a pretty damn good song uh, from a lyrical perspective. It rocks. Gosh, I could probably start listening to this track at least again. Uh, it's a good track. Very cool. Rat out of the cellar. 
Uh, hmm. Interesting album cover. This is questionable. Otherwise, kick it. Not really. I mean, it's it's pretty tame, right? But I mean, you can look deeper into it. Uh, uh, the uh, submissive animal like uh, she's the rat, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not. It's not the point because uh, we're gonna finish the uh, the Creek Squad. The reason there's an up church down there as well. Um, if you take the link and you watch what we're talking about, I, I, I agree 100% with everything except I think the people on the podcast are, are unfortunately right. I think there's two different versions of the thing they're discussing, the willing and unwilling. Uh, I, <clears throat> I'm with the why is it always the most horrible things? Why? Why do we always have to jump to the extremities in uh, 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 the, those topics? And even if I think that that world is not as, uh, that there is, you know, there's a whole world of uh, weird, fetishy people doing crazy stuff. I think it should have stayed in the shadows. Should have never came out of the cellar. Uh, you know, if I'm going to try to weave this all together. Uh, so I actually agree with everything I saw today, except for that I, um, as disgusting as some of the positions were, I don't think they were wrong. I just don't think they should be for public display when uh, it's prof was being uh, centered out or uh, called out for being abusive. We looked into it and uh, not, not the case. Um, but the podcast that we learned it from, the jokes were just like what you'd see in this video. Um, the level of uh, willingness to say the most shocking content, especially when you have someone with you that obviously doesn't appreciate it. Uh, probably going to give that one uh, podcaster a follow just because what a trooper. And I agree. And I think even though I don't have a lot of sway, I have some pretty thoughtful people who follow along with the channel. And uh, I think you would probably, you know, maybe get a better takeaway. And I do agree with this positioning. Except, I mean, I hate to admit it, but I would argue that the guy, the, the gross bastards on the uh, podcast um, had a right to say what they were saying, that, that the word doesn't always mean negative. There are willing participants in those events, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for them. Unfortunately for us who don't participate. But uh, I think that clears this up. I was going to go do docking, but this one is a pretty good reaction, in my opinion. I know no one's going to watch it except a handful of us. And that's the weird thing about the whole channel is a lot of stuff gets taken to heart because we get these really good reactions and a lot of cool stuff comes out. And then literally three quarters of the channel is just waiting for one artist. And it's, it's a struggle, right? Because it's like, I'd rather, I'd rather have talked about everything I talked about today. I think there's some cool, interesting, surreal, intertwining uh, uh, lyrics and ideas throughout all of it. And the songs are just an accent to the ideas and thoughts. So, that all being said, I doubt uh, if you made it this far, uh, show, bro. <laughs> uh, nothing but love, happy birthday. Um, I just dedicated my morning to you. That's what I have. I don't, you know, I ain't got a lot. But my time for you is always worthwhile, and that's the truth. And the phone is always there. Anything you'd ever need. And uh, holy shit, man, when I tell you about the things we went through this last week, you will understand even more. So, you take care. Uh, love you, man. And everybody else, uh, 
I won't be uh, talking to my brother for the rest of the day. So we'll move on. Uh, I say, Dokken. I was going to do Dokken. I'm not going to do Dokken. Was, not going to. We're going to leave it at this. Uh, it was a nice morning, but we'll uh, leave the Hallmark cards on the rack and just get back to some uh, uh, fresh into the warehouse. Just like the old days, I'm picking out today's requests as fast as they come in. Other stuff can sit in the warehouse and collect dust. No disrespect. Uh, my lack of communication with everyone, I'm working on changing that as of now. I am answering and literally reading and answering uh, comments. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to get back into the complete swing of things, I hope. Uh, you get five more reactions today? I was serious. Nothing comes in till tomorrow? I was pulling your leg. I don't think that's an option. I'm pretty sure I'm good to go. But, you know, I don't want to BS you no more. Sometimes real life comes a call and when I'm not doing a recording. So, rat, out of the cellar, lack of communication. Wow. Take care.